Yeah, I don't know why I was so chicken to get around that last time. Um, the DR would have easily made it up that. <laughs> uh, but I think maybe it was worse last time. That's what I'm thinking. That's probably why. There's probably, they piled up a bunch of rocks and stuff. Um, alright, so that's the gate. Um, I don't condone, I don't condone, uh, you know, going around closed gates. Because obviously they, they don't want you to be here, you know. I don't really know how to open this either. How would you open this? That's a good question. I think there's a lock right here. No, there's a pivot right there. Yeah, I don't know how you, I don't even know how you open that. <laughs> I think it's like permanently closed. <laughs> Alright. One more picture spot, so. Uh we're what are we at? 40 44%, pretty much the same as we were when we were up there. That's good. Just let it regen on the way down. It's really, it's really steep. This is a pretty steep section right here. So watch your speed. Try not to use any power at least, you know. Okay, there's like a turnaround sign here. Actually, I'll take a picture of that turnaround sign. I do not know where that goes. Where that goes, I'm not sure where it goes. Okay, there's a road there and there's a road there. Boy, I don't remember which one. I know we went there this way. I think we went that way because I remember it was really steep going up. So, here we go. Picaille. Well, I'm sweating a lot. I'm not even working that hard. This bike is just, you know, it's doing all the work, so. Workout trying to wrestle this bike, man. It's pretty steep. I remember I went up the, I went up and down this on the DR, and I was just like, man, it's kind of a little, a little hard on the DR. But you're careful, you can get up it on a big hill sport or adventure bike. It's nothing too crazy. It is kind of rough. All right, I'm trying to just roll down the hill using no power. Flattens out sometimes, so to give it a little bit of power. Right here, flattens out. Oh, look at these trees! They're so they're so beautiful. Such fresh air out here, dude. All right, there is a section here where we saw those guys on the ATVs, and that's where I wanted to take a picture with the trees. Got these little Christmas trees there. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna say let's just take the pavement back because we can. We can take the pavement back if we want. This is our dual sport ride. That's what I'm gonna call it. Dual sport moped. Dual sport electro moped. Electro dual sport. There we go. Electro dual sport ride. Woo! Okay, I just had to. I had to get the front up over that. Sorry. <laughs> Whee! Just chugging along at 20 miles an hour here. Yeah, I wouldn't go back on that Rubicon Trail just because we don't have a lot of power. If we were, I think if we were just to do the pavement, if we would have just ridden the pavement all the way to the Rubicon Trail and then rode the Rubicon back, it would have been fine, you know, but I didn't expect it to be this far, you know. And we couldn't do this, the ride that we did, we couldn't do this on the KLX, so. Um, because the KLX is a dirt bike. Um, there's that there's that section after the campground that says no OHV past this point, so you'd be fucked if you got stopped by a ranger, you know? Um, so switch, I have not seen any rangers out here, by the way. But yeah, you'd get in big trouble. But this one, I have a plate on it. I have all the registration and stuff on me, so. And it's got insurance, so it is legal to ride out there. Oh, great. we got to use some power to get through this section. All right, we're just following our tracks back. So this is, uh, this is it. This was the last ride I was planning to do. I was actually planning it to do it tomorrow, but we can leave tomorrow. I'm going to load... What we're going to do is we're going to load the bikes up to tonight when I come back. And then... Uh, is this it? No. Look at those, look at those colors, though. Let's take some pictures. 
Okay, charge check, 43%. From uh, when we got to the gate and we went down here, we ate at 1%, so it's it's flattening out a little bit is what's going on. So we're just, all we're gonna do is just gonna put along, dude, and go down the hills. That's when it's time to capture that energy. I know, have I had, I've never had to hypermile a freaking dirt bike before. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe, maybe, you know. I, I would always be questioning, you know, like, are we gonna make it? We got enough fuel. Oh, right here. I don't know why. I always run into people where, where these Christmas trees are. There's people out here. I think they're, people are hunting out here. That's what they're, that's what's going on here. I okay. A lot of people I promise I will not uh, take any more pictures. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we got enough power to make it out of here. The bike is still running. Yeah, it's no no more power. Uh, uh, wide open throttle though. <laughs> now it's limiting the power. It's, the, it's that time. It's that time it's mad at me, man. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take the pavement back. It'll be easier, you know. Most of it was uphill, so um, there was a section that was kind of flat. Oh, this is uphill, man. What the hell? Just take it easy, man. Don't go too fast. So, if you don't ride really fast, then it doesn't eat up a lot of power. The rough terrain really eats up the power. So, so far we've gone 13 miles. I think it was, what, nine miles when we were up there? So... Shit, dude. So all I'm saying is if, if we do run out of energy and the bike won't go anymore, then we can, uh... We, if we're on the road, we can at least push it back, you know? <laughs> Plus, like I said, it's mostly downhill, so we could just, we could push it to the top of a hill and just ride it down the hill if we were, you know, we got stuck, stuck on a hill. So, so yeah, I'm thinking uh, we're not going to do the Rubicon, and <laughs> we're done with the Rubicon, man, that's it. We finished it this morning, so. There's a lot of forest roads that go out here, man. It's awesome, man. This, this uh, El Dorado Hills in El Dorado County, just, Miles and miles of fire, ro fire uh, forest roads to to explore out here, man. It's beautiful, and this this bike does great on it, man. I, I just wish the range was better on it, you know. This is a great bike to just you know just go just go right ripping around, you know. And yeah, you know if there's a dicey section to get through, it, it'll get through it, you know. As you can saw you, you saw what it did on the Rubicon, you know. Just trying to roll down this. Okay. Yeah, just made it one percent going down that hill. Gotta hypermile it, man. Hypermile it. Beautiful out here, man. Is that where I took pictures of the Christmas trees? I don't know, man. It's so green. It's green and it's turning. It's tur it's fall, so the colors are turning. It's, it's perfect, man. It's beautiful, beautiful ride is what this is called. It's not difficult, but it's beautiful. Careful, there is vehicles on this road, so. Hopefully we can roll down this part here. There are some pretty rocky sections on the way up here, so... Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to be able to take the Robocon back. I'm, I think that would be a bad idea because there are some kind of rough sections halfway through it, you know. The downhill sections I'm not worried about, but there are some uphill. There was some uphill and there were some really rocky sections and, it, you know, it eats up a lot of power to get over those rocks, you know. You got to have power to get over the rocks to, to pop it up over and stuff. Oh, my booty's starting to hurt from sitting down. <laughs> I wish I had a better seat now. I know, it feels like I'm sitting on a freaking 2x4 right now. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Alright, it's 16.15. We've gone 14 miles. Oh, 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 we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go right. This is the combined roadway here. I think all of this is OHV. You can ride your OHV all over. This is our forest roads, right? I don't know where, where you couldn't have OHV, you know? 
because people use the quads. They use the quads to uh, to go hunting. Put the gun on the rack and bang, you know. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's rocky. It's getting rocky here, dude. Try not to use any power, dude. I have to blip it every once in a while. That's my shadow. Yes. Smoothing it out. Good. Ah, oh, look at this! Look at this! Beautiful! The ferns are changing colors. Man! Awesome! Let's go on the left here where there's no rocks. Those rocks slow us down. We don't want that. I want to roll on some smooth stuff. Alright, getting pretty close to the end of the road. See what we're at. Honestly, if we were at 50%, if we were at 50% and we made it back to the Rubicon, old Rubicon trail, we would do it, you know, but we're below, we're like 40%, you know, you know. Last time we made it back with 30% and the bike was slow as shit, dude, I'm telling you. So I don't want to have no I mean I, I think I'm pretty sure even if we walked the bike back, it wouldn't be that difficult, you know. But yeah, walking it over to big rocks. Take energy, you know, human energy. I don't want that. <laughs> I want the bike to do the work. So. Oh, my booty, man. Okay, I'm gonna stand. Be careful, there could be a vehicle coming in. It's becoming a paved road now. Okay. It's gonna start turning right soon. So I'm just following my track back here. We're at 15 miles. So what was it? The the light bee can do 20 mi 20 miles of rough off road riding, and it could do uh, it could do 30 miles of uh, just easy city riding. So I would think in between, probably get 25 miles. I'm thinking so we probably hit 25 on the way back, but you definitely want to conserve your power, dude. I know that's the kind of lame thing about riding an electric motorcycle, man. It's just, you're just worried. You get range anxiety all the time. I'm getting it right now. <sighs> all right, you're just giving it just a little bit of power. Get down this. So this is this is the private road right here. You don't want to take that. That's a shortcut though. We could have gone around it, you know, the gate. We try to I want to try to get back by by 1700. Just a little blip gets it going. Bad. Uh, when we get to, when we get to the Rubicon Trail, we'll uh, check to see how much uh, how much we got left. I think this is Wentworth Springs Road. Whew. So we're definitely gonna have to once we put this thing on the trailer, we're definitely gonna have to hook the charger up to it. It's gonna be charging for a long time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll have it back with like 30% left. Okay, this is uh, this is the Rubicon Trail right here. This is the Wentworth Springs Rubicon Trail. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna go to the Rubicon Trailhead, the old Rubicon Trailhead. This is that water crossing. I don't feel bad about taking the bike over there because we rode it this morning, so. We rode all that this morning. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> it would have been. It would have been fun, but yeah, we don't got the power right now. Another little campsite here. Plenty of places to pull over and camp around here. One of these days, man, I'm gonna get a freaking four x four. Ooh, there's a big truck. Side track off road. There's a bunch of drawers and stuff. That <laughs> back there. You see that that truck took up the whole freaking road. <laughs> I had to just just kind of get on the side, you know. That's why, man. Be careful, dude. You go on around the corner, a big ass truck like that comes around. You gotta stay on the right, man. Especially in, in more populated areas, you know. 
Oh, we, we gotta use power to go through this section here, dude. It's flat. Shit, man. We gotta use power now. We're going uphill. Okay, this is it. This is the uh, Rubicon Trail. So, we're not gonna do it. I'm pretty sure we're not. I already decided we're not gonna do it. Uh, this is it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're at freaking 38%. Could we do it? No, 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 let's not do it, man. Like I said, if we get stuck out there, it, it's, it'll, be, it'll be a pain in the ass to walk back. Um, if we take the road back, we can we can walk it up over the hills and ride down. So that's that's my thing. So, um, okay, so here's a here, little report. Um, we're at 16 miles. It's 16.22 right now. Lots of 16s. We're at 5,800 foot elevation. Bike doesn't care about that, though. Um, it does care about going up and down the hills, though. We're at 38% charge pretty low when it starts to get to like 20 percent it's going to start cutting out you know especially when you're going up the hill so um this is mostly downhill i'm going to say mostly downhill because there are some uphill rocky sections so um and that's really going to kill the battery um so rather than have to walk it back up over those rocky sections if it dies um the plan was that's okay so the plan was to take the pavement here and we ripped up the pavement we got here really fast um yeah, we got it. We got up here faster than we could have probably rode it uh, on the dirt, and then we took this to Bunker Hill, and it was a lot longer than I thought. So we're at 16 miles so far. Um, I think I think the campground is about four miles, so we'll be at 20 miles. So 20 miles of you know mixed off-road and on-road riding, it uh, it's gonna kill the battery. Um, I know that. Um, it was a lot of uphill. Um, all the way up to the Bunker Hill was all uphill, man. And it got even steeper as we got up, came up. So <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. Um, so, so yeah, the, the plan was to come back down here and then ride the Rubicon Trail back. Um, but we're not going to do that. I did it this morning, so I'm not, you know, I, I'm pretty sure this bike will rip on that. It, if we ripped on it on the KLX, I'm sure we could have ripped on it on this. Um, I don't know if we could have taken the KLX up there. I think we could. If we if we took this road up here, we could have just taken this paved road up to the Bunker Hill. And, and I'm pretty sure we could have got around the gate, too. So um, maybe the KLX was the better way to go, you know. But uh, it's okay. I'm not... I'm not... Uh, no, no regrets. I, like I said, we rode that this morning. I'm sure the Light B will be able to rip on that. It, the Light B will be a lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun on that road, on the Rubicon Trail Road, the old Rubicon be a lot of fun but we're, I'm worried about not being able to get back and we can push this bike on the pavement it'll be hard to push it over rocks and stuff you know there's a lot of rock beds and stuff to go over there so see we're gonna have to ease up some power just to get out of here you know so we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of the uh, the uh, the plated the moped plate and do some dual sport action I'm trying to go up at half throttle. I'm going at 22 miles an hour, yeah. We'll try not to go faster than like 25, unless you're going downhill. I got a hypermilet, man. <laughs> the hypermilet electric bike, man. You know, I feel that I feel that this would be the perfect bike if it had double the range. If there if there was some kind of I feel that there was some kind of breakthrough technology, you know. All right, when we get back onto the the hardball, the real hardball, it's just, just beat up, beat up freaking forest road here. We'll uh, think, it's pretty cool riding through here, man. Look at it, look at the colors, beautiful. It's getting cold though. I remember it was really cold going up here. It's gonna be cold going back. It's okay, it's okay, man. As long as we make it back. All right, here we are, trying to make it back. I'm trying to rip it up this road real quick. I think it'll be okay. When it gets below 20%, that's when you gotta really worry. So <laughs> if somebody comes along, you know, I'll just stay on the right, they'll pass me, you know. So we got about it's three more miles of this, so hopefully we'll make it back. It's looks like it's starting to go downhill. Yeah, it's pretty flat actually. I don't know if we're gonna make it back, dude. Three more miles. We're pushing it, man. This is the farthest we've ridden so far. We did do like some hill climbs and some rocky stuff, and you know, this is just a great bike to ride through the forest, though, man. It's it's quiet too, man. It's, 
it's quiet. You don't have to wait. You don't have to turn it off every time you stop, you know, if you don't want it to make noise. It, it doesn't make noise when you stop, you know. Just stop and get off the bike. It's it's so nice. Right, so <laughs> I'm doing about like three quarters throttle here. Hopefully we'll make it back. It's mostly down. From what I remember, it was it was pretty much all uphill, but this part is pretty flat, so. Okay, I'm just kind of going to roll off here. Yeah, right, we still got a lot of power, man. Gonna, let's see what the max speed we can hit. Doing 30, 35 right now. Well, we're going downhill though, so. Yeah, let's just rip it on the way back. <laughs> I don't know what the speed limit is here. It's probably like 40. All right, here we go. We're burning, burning the rest of the candle here. I get down a little bit. Minimize my air resistance. I still don't see the camp on it on there though. I know what happened to like coasting down the hill and regening, man. It's taking forever. That's why. I think we got plenty. I think we got enough charge. Let me see. Oh no, we're at 28. <laughs> we're pretty low, right? We're like 28. I think we'll make it back though. I think if there's any uphills, we're gonna have trouble going up the hills though. So it's it's pretty much in limp mode now. It's, it's got so little, so little power. But the reason we can the reason we can keep this speed up, this 33 miles an hour, is that we're going downhill. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but we're going downhill right now. So I think we, if we just rip it on the way back, we'll, we'll make it back. There'll be still some charge left, so. We'll be, able to, we'll be able to limp it back if it runs out of charge, so. Oh no, oh no, we're going uphill now. <laughs> Man, the, t the squirrels here are so big. I saw a squirrel with like the bushiest tail this morning, man. It was nice, bushy tail. You know, I've never seen a squirrel with bushy tails like that. Nice squirrels out here. Man, where are we? Okay, we're about half a mile, I think, still left to go. And we're going uphill, so. I wouldn't be surprised if it just died on us right now. There's plenty of places to pull off the road and camp here if you wanted to. I've totally done that, but. Okay, I see some stuff on the, on the screen. There it is, we made it, we made it, woo, <laughs> nice.